hello and welcome to this lecture so in this lecture we will understand about the record type list and we will see how we can modify the record list right and the other options available in record type so in the previous lecture we have seen this data model where we have selected the data source and we have also added a source filter now we will move forward and we will see the other things like record relationship and other features so this this is the feature of record relationship in the past or few release we got this new feature and it's very interesting because um, in cdds what we need to do for example we have a relationship of between two tables and we need to fetch some details with the other table with foreign key then we need to write a rule and then we need to fetch it but if we are using record type relationship we can attach the record type of the that different table and then we can directly index that particular field from the record type so we will use that uh, record relationship in future lectures for now let's move forward with the list option so in the list option when i will click on this link this is my record link right and you can see these are my columns with all the data and uh, the available record type and i can modify this list if i want for example i don't want these columns created by created on updated by updated on i can remove these columns or i can do any modification in the values of this data as well as with the columns so i just need to click on this edit list here i have all the column details you can see i can also choose this options let's say expense id and then i can modify these options available let's say i wanted to change the alignment to center we can also see that thing inside the preview so this is what we can choose uh, and select and we can modify it but if we don't want to do it i can select the grid itself and we can directly modify all the column configuration from edit as a expression and you can see this is a list of columns this is a array and inside the array we have a bank grid columns right so this function is used to show the data in the read only grid so it's a read only grid only and we are configuring the column so that's why we are using a bank grid column so what we don't need is these four columns right now so i can directly remove these four columns and uh, we have expense id we also have expense amount so what i want uh, i want uh, you can see the current expense amount is the link but i don't want to use that expense amount as a link so i can make expense id as a link before that let's uh, change the column names so it will look better on the record type and i can give some spaces because these are the by default column names which it automatically picks from the database table and created by okay we wanted to remove this also so let's directly remove this or we can also comment this if we want and let's click okay and let's see how my grid is looking you can see we have expense id expense amount expense detail and expense category and this is a link right this is a record link which we are using and it will take me to the summary page right so let's click okay and uh, let's save this now i will again refresh my record type page this is my record type page with the latest modifications which we have done so this is something related to list modification in the next lecture we will see how we can change this link from expense amount to expense id